Hey, Prairie Valley family, so time for our weekly pastor's note. So some of you will know we did a survey quite recently with many of you in the congregation, asked a whole bunch of questions about how you were handling COVID and how connected you felt to us. And we asked some questions just around your spirituality. And one of the things that came up quite low uh, was that not many of you journal. Uh, so you don't often take time just to write out some of the things that you're learning uh, in your connection with Jesus. Now, I'm terrible at journaling, to be honest. Uh, there have been very few stages in my life where I've been good at it. Uh, what I did recently was I picked up a journal uh, that I'd written in 2014 and was just paging through it. And I came across uh, this particular word that I wrote on the, on the 9th of January in 2014. It really spoke to me. Again, and it reinforces, I guess, the value of journaling. And I quoted 2 Kings 18, 5 to 7. Hezekiah trusted in the Lord. There was none like him. He held fast to the Lord and did not cease to follow him. He kept the commands and the Lord was with him. He was successful in whatever he undertook. And then I just wrote there that uh, verse 7 in the message version puts it quite beautifully. It says, and God for his part held fast to him through all his adventures. I just love that interpretation of that passage that you look at it in the NIV, NIV it kind of looks like Hezekiah is doing all the work uh, but actually in the, in the message it just puts a little angle different angle to it and God for his part held fast to Hezekiah through all his adventures and that was just a real encouragement to me and I thought a bit of an encouragement to you it is something of an adventure not one particularly that we're enjoying possibly finding it difficult, I suspect most of us, and yet there is something of an adventure that we're on, and just that promise that God held on to him through all his adventures. Just to remind you, God's got you. He's got your back, and he's holding fast to you. I love the fact that he reminds us that even when we are faithless, he is faithful because he cannot disown his own. We belong to him. We are his children. Just some encouragement today. So two notices uh, that are helpful. Uh, in terms of where we are in the life of the church and we had to unfortunately postpone the training workshop that we held on sunday due to unforeseen circumstances we will pick it up on the 22nd of this month and so if you were unable to join us on sunday please use the quicket link attached to this pastor's note to sign up if you haven't signed up yet at all uh, for that training it's running over eight weeks on a two-week cycle so in other words you will only need to come for four weeks it's kind of looking at what it means to be a church in a very changed world. We cannot keep just doing Sundays as the only expression of Christian community and of our faith. We have to look at other ways. And so we're going to journal, journey together uh, over that four-week period to discover together what it looks like to be church uh, in this world. And so sign up. And then lastly, a market day that we postponed because of COVID is happening this Saturday. The proceeds will be for the New Life Center uh, it is a home that works with pregnant and vulnerable women and children. Let the word out between 12 and 2 in the, in the courtyard at the church building. 12 and 2 this Saturday. Secondhand clothes and household goods all in great condition. Uh, please come and support it. Uh, let your domestic worker know. Let her friends know. Uh, just get as many people to come in and, and support what is a really worthwhile cause. Uh, stay connected to Jesus. Prairie Valley Church.